Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, I got Rush back, and we're actually gonna be doing a Bentley review. Now, Rush has the bottle, but I have a sample, and we're gonna be talking about Wild Vetiver, which was launched in 2019, and it's class as a woody aromatic. This is actually part of their like their luxury line, and um, I wouldn't say it's really part of their, like a luxury line, but it is definitely more expensive than yeah. the other Bentleys out there. The other Bentleys are quite affordable. This is gonna cost you a little bit of money. The note breakdown for this one here is gonna be Vetiver, Verbena, Birch, Amberwood, Bergamot, and Pepper. Rush, what do you get? Oh, you get the, well, of course you get the Vetiver. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> That's what you get, you get a, a whole lot of Vetiver. Uh, I like it, it's, but, but, I also have a huge fan of Tom Ford's uh, Great Vetiver EDP. I have a bottle of it. I'm on my third bottle of it. Uh, there are not a lot of similarities between the two as far as I'm concerned. Okay. All right. Um, it's a good fragrance. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't project as much as the Great Vetiver EDP does, but it's still a good fragrance. Uh, well, for me, I get lots of uh, citrus or just verbena. The verbena. Pops, you get lots of vetiver, and you're gonna get some of that woods as well. So overall, it's a pretty linear fragrance. Very much so. And you did mention Tom Ford before I was going to, and I personally find that it does have some similarities to gray vetiver. Not a whole lot, gray vetiver is just done better. It's it blended is. better, it's Tom Ford. Yes. But for what you're getting, it's actually a pretty solid scent. Oh yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it isn't, because it in fact is a very solid scent. But they're not similar. No. Price tag for this, this is this will range anywhere from $100 to $160 Canadian. So that would be like $80 to maybe $130 USD. Yeah. Give or take. Uh, this would be more about what? Seasons? Oh, this is a spring, summer, early fall. I would say the, the exact same thing. Versatility? Oh, very versatile. You can, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. I, I think that it's it's best more it's more suited for the daytime because oh yeah, yeah daytime that bright verbena that just pops so much uh, makes it more of a daytime fragrance but it's very versatile I do find that this is probably more so for the older gentleman yeah so this is not, not this is not what you would call a, a clubbing fragrance unless you know granddaddy's clubbing <laughs> but I would say that this is more of a like a thirty five to a 40 year old and up. Uh, it's a great versatile signature scent. I think it's worth the cash. Longevity, how much did you get though? Like when you wore- Longevity, I get, I get better longevity with the great vetiver. I would say, Same. I would say it's moderate. I mean, it's, it's it, it doesn't suck, but it's not nuclear. So would you say six hours, eight hours? I would say five to six. Yeah, I thought that this was gonna last a little bit longer, but for an EDP, I was expecting something a little bit more. I got six, seven hours tops I myself. I got five to six. And for the price tag, you would think that you that it's gonna last a little bit longer. Yeah. They have a number of other fragrances. They, they got uh, cashmere, they mm -hmm. got uh, exotic musk, or mm -hmm. something musk. They got hibiscus, they got a pimento one. So those ones are super hard to come by and I am looking for- This is uh, the only one that I got out of the series. Well, uh, I, got, a better fan. I do have two other samples of, of the cashmere and, and the musk, which I will be doing. In the end, would you say that this overall is a decent fragrance and would you recommend it? It's not my first reach when it comes to a better of a fragrance, but I would recommend it. It is a good fragrance. Okay, and, and I, I would say the same thing. You say it doesn't get, uh, there's not a lot of comparisons. I do think that this is more of the poor man's version of Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, yet Tom Ford is a little bit cheaper in price tag than that, which, oh. is, which is kind of unusual, because Tom Ford, you are paying for the name and quality, but for a lot of the fragrances, especially the private line, it's more of the name than anything. I think it's a solid scent. I kind of wish it lasted like an, an extra hour or two, especially for an EDP concentration and for the price tag, but it's a good scent. It's a solid scent for an older guy that just wants a fragrance and not like what we have in our collections. So guys, that is our take. Mine's a, a sample and we do have the bottle of, of of Bentley Wild Vetiver. I had a massive brain fart just now. So any other reviews that I've done from this brand, they will be down in the description below. I have tackled a few more as of late and I did do a smell and rate with my wife. 
Uh, that will be out later in the year. If you want to see some other car fragrance videos, then please check out all four corners. And before you go, make sure to give us one of these as we really would appreciate it. And it does help with the channel. Gentlemen, ladies, I thank you for your time. Take care, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye, y'all.